Hello my friends of Middle Earth and welcome to the Beyond Sanders channel my name is Shanks and today we are on the legendary map Forts of Aizen for a game that happened in the Beef Me 1 online arena which you can also download from the link in the description down below and join us in our adventure for the 20 years anniversary of BFME 1 but back to the game we have a good against evil matchup between very good players in a classical phenomenal El Clasico matchup between Gondor and Isengard. This is Donadine and this is Bivellini. Okay, Uruk Pit Furnace opening for Isengard and Blacksmith Farm opening for Gondor. He's gonna split one of his soldiers to grab the settlement and the other soldier is going through the middle. So he's being caught very early from the Uruks of Isengard. So he needs to fight this because you can't get away from them. They are way too fast. In the meantime, the eco from Isengard is, you know, pretty much untouched. He's also scouting for the second soldier with this Uruk. Your goal for the Isengard is you want to kill them or hurt them before they can reach out to the settlement. And look what he's doing with the builder too, with the Lambert Milborka. Like he's getting vision control around coming. the bottom side. He will be able to see the Hobbit yeah, coming, but us. too bad for the Get Hobbit. There is a slaughterhouse you need to now yeah, destroy first. Get to work. The start for, for the game is looking phenomenal. For Isengard, he also used heal, and Isengard is holding on his war chant. But remember, this Uruk, I mean, this soldier is pretty much badly damaged, so for that reason, Isengard doesn't even need to use the war chant. He can even kill them just like that, super easy. But the worst part is he's about to lose both his outside farms too. You know, that's gonna hurt him the most because they give you the food bonus, making your, you know, horses cheaper. So good positioning, good positioning with the Hobbit Peregrine took behind the soldier so the Uruks can't catch up to him but the soldiers are gone and the Uruks will now try their best to bring the hobbits to the Isengard <laughs> they are bringing the hobbits to Isengard great micro here by the way forget forgot to mention Bivellini the Isengard player is the host player of this game which makes it quite difficult for Gondor but even now he has a very good horse, uh, hobbit micro here he can hit run hit run hit run and get the maximum out of, if, out of even a cheap hero like Peregrine took. He will kill a whole battalion like this. Level 3 unlocked for the Hobbit. He was trying to get Cloak, but he couldn't. And the Pippin will be taken down or brought to Isengard. Both the farms destroyed. A phenomenal start for the Isengard play by Vellini. And the Knights of Gondor are a bit late. The Uruk Pit is already level 2. He will have Pikemen by the time he has already one Pikemen. Because the Eco from Gondor... Is not looking too hot. Beautiful trample level two instantly unlocked from the for the Knights of Gondor, and he will try to destroy this lumber mill first, obviously. And his goal is to collect three power points in total to unlock the Great Company right to, the to be able to summon the Rangers to the re for the reinforcement. That's one of the easiest way you can deal with the pikemen because this Isengard it. player will spam whole lot of pikemen on the field. The Uruk Pit level 3 will boost the production speed even up to 50 person in total. That means the Uruk Pikemen will be recruited in only 16 seconds. Which is a very short time. So he's trying to creep this. He will be able to creep this. Level 3.5 unlocked. Each level will make your Knights of Gondor significantly stronger. That's pretty good as well. The Slaughterhouse here will be taken down. And remember, he has no barracks. That means he has no way of dealing with the pikemen anytime soon. You need either barracks for this, for the soldiers of Gondor. You need either Boromir for this, as the captain of Gondor, or his uh, brother Faramir. You know, these are the three possible options you can go for. But Faramir can't catch up to them, soldiers. But you can use them to at least maintain some sort of map control, which is also very important. This mill is exposed, will be taken down by the Knights of Gondor. And the second battalion is trying to creep. Level 3 he needs to fill up the bees. Barracks is building up now for the Gondor player. Dunadine. And he's playing cat and mouse. You can't fight them. They are hard countering you. Isengard doesn't even build a single tower. Because he's feeling, feeling very, very, you know, comfortable about, about the current situation. Industry has been used. Because there is not even an Elvin Wood he gotta be afraid about, you know, of. Because no Elvin Wood, you have no chance of denying enemy leadership bonuses. Warchan is always going to be available. Oh, nice. He was paying attention in the last possible second. Two power points for Aizen, and for Gondor, I mean. And he has only one creep left on the map, Wards of Aizen, which he needs to take. But 
a look into the minimap shows you that Isengard, the red player, is the one who is dominating the entire map. Warten is gonna be used on the pikemen. You wanna take even the last remaining creep from the map for Sovisen. A very good move. You will only be able to kill one Warg, not even that. The Warg also gonna be taken down by this uh, Uruk pikeman. The soldier is coming and he's trying to stall for the soldiers to be able to deal with the pikemen but remember they have the war chant it means they won't get one-shotted by the soldiers they can always turn the formation of porcupine to become even more tanky and gondor was actually able with a great micro to get the last hit on the creep but the money will be taken by the uru pikemen okay so seeing this soldiers motivates of course isengard to go for the war pit immediately and you need to do this pre like preactively you want to predict the enemy movement and know what he's up to and you know the reaction time is very good here for Bevel. he has lords too i mean he has money like he is pretty much bill gates as we are talking and gondor is doomed with only one outside settlement he has no upgrades yet he has not purchased any of these he's very broke and we can't say the same about the isengard player he has full base warp pit armory coming up lords has been recruited and I lied, by the way. There is still a creep at the bottom left side of the map, which can be taken by Lourdes, but I think that's not going to happen because the Knights of Gondor are coming. But however, the pikemen of Aizen should be able to contest this. No problemo. The farm has been destroyed. The farm is about to be destroyed as well. It's very, very good. And now Lourdes is coming. Lourdes is like, you shall not pass. But you need to hit him a few times, you know. You need like four hits to kill the Knights of Gondor. There is one more battalion coming. But you need to be patient and kind of careful about every step you're taking because there are so many pikemen and one mistake actually he will take the creep too level five knights of condor that's jews but again the money once again will be taken by isengard he's a very greedy player after all <laughs> he will cripple the work almost level two and gondor was able to get almost three power points and it looks like he's saving up for gandalf okay so here's the power points he needs to turn his gandalf the gray into the gandalf the white that's a good thing however the bad thing is i think isengard kind of sees it coming not seeing any upgraded horses on the field kind of gives you the signal okay my opponent is trying to rush gandalf and he already has the perfect answer to this problem anyway right here's lourdes lourdes is crippled will lock down gandalf on place for 25 seconds which kind of sounds short but gandalf as a hero is very strong in terms of magical capabilities and powers however his defensive the situation is not that great especially when he's mounted on shadow facts he's, he's gonna be very vulnerable against pikeman damage so two pikemen surrounding him with war chant for 25 seconds i don't know he will die you know and those pikemen will have also forge bleeds heavy armor banner carrier and even fire arrows incoming every single settlement outside is under control from isengard so very good situation now he gotta do all he gotta do is buy the outpost go the for the siege arrives precisely when he means to. but can the wizard who arrives precisely when he means to change the outcome of the game he's camping but lords is exposed he will get easter delighted he has no cripple look he's you see what he's doing guys he's running in circles which kind of forces gandalf to you see this? This is high class gameplay right there, you know? Look this. He can't, he can't attack him with the Easter light. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, now he's gonna do it. Or is he gonna do it? No, he can't do it. <laughs> he's gonna even miss the lightning sword. What a professional move from Lords. Dude, Bimal is playing out of his mind, but he's gonna get Easter in one shot. <laughs> a level one Lords dies to the Easter light. You need to have some levels on him to not get one-shotted. Um, now with Lourdes being dead, this Gandalf has the freedom to do whatever he wants, but he needs to wait for the cooldowns of his abilities. While the Wizard Plus is only 30 seconds cooldown, a Lightning Sword is, for example, almost 2 minutes cooldown. Easter Light is a whole minute cooldown. And yeah, and this only when you have White, because White will give you 100% uh, cooldown reduction on their abilities. So you get everything twice as quickly. We've improved the smithing! So that means he can blast again like this, you know, level 6, very good, almost level 6. But he needs some sort of map control. He's very broke, right? He has no money. He just got the horse, uh, the, the heavy armor. And the problem here is Lourdes' revive time when he's level 1 is extremely low too, right? 
super low revive time for lords so if you kill him level one he will be back in like 45 seconds and yeah that's why you know losing heroes that are highly leveled is more punishing okay so needs to be careful but again lords is still level one beautiful blast but they will be left with one hp left but there comes the lightning sword he will be able to catch them and every single knight will be taken down but there comes the cripple however do you have what it takes to kill him the units are now moving war chant is available to make them stronger remember this is the land from gondor but they don't even need to step up on the land the level 5 knight of gondor will get in safety there is even a gandalf does he have heal from the spell book he does have heal from the spell book but he will cover the land first it's going to be easter lighted heal is going to be used uh, the saruman is quite quite damaged but Gandalf is gonna get it in safety 25 seconds over by the time they came to this location and Warchant won't do anything I think he wasted the easter light on Saruman he should have gone for the, for the Lords but I believe Lords was out of the range so that's why he had to go for Saruman and because of the fireball fireball range and the easter light pretty much the same and when in order to fireball him you will get into the range of the easter -y. easter -y hurts more but it's a single target Fireball has more splash, so it's able to hit multiple targets. Easter can do this too. Oh, look. But too many pikemen around, man. Too many pikemen. That's how you play Isengard, by the way, in 2024, boys, okay? That's when you struggle Gondor against Isengard, watch this game to see how you perform with Isen against Gondor. I mean, obviously, being on host helps. Every tiny bit of advantage can help at this class of gameplay. And you see he's preventing him. He's buying upgrades on his pikemen. He's having pikemen pretty much everywhere on the map. He's going for double siege now from the outpost. He has pikemen here too. He has a huge army of combos. Pikemen always moving with them. Saruman lords being in one location. He's not exposing his lords anywhere close. And look, in order to look, people are struggling to deal with Ganav because Ganav can do what he's doing right now. He can dance around the map and farm power points for Gondor, right? And Lourdes can never catch up to him because Lourdes is on foot, Gandalf is on horse. So you can always be on the opposite side of the map with your Gandalf. In order to prevent this, look at the micro with the pikeman. In order to prevent this from happening for as Isengard player, you need to siege him and force him to come to you. Right? He doesn't need to come to you. He can ignore this army completely like he does now. But if you siege his castle, he has no choice but coming to you. Oof. Look, he's not giving him a chance to blast him, you see? He's not giving him any power points, but now he might give him two, but look, again, he's dodging. Okay, look, he's trying to get, get him from this location. Level 5 or level 6 Knight of Gondor has been killed. Fireball on a dead body. Mistakes can be made even by pro players. And Gandalf is almost level 7. That's good. Power point wise, he has two power points in the bank. That's also not bad. But he still needs, like, first of all, you need either Grey Company or the Rohirrim Summon before you can even go for the Eagles. And Eagles are very important in this situation. Beautiful Blast. With Eagles, you can kill Lourdes. Then your Gandalf can pop off. You can blast them. He's gonna blast them. Beautiful Blast. Protecting his Ballista because he's trying to buy some time, you know. But he can't. Very good gameplay here. Very good gameplay. Look, he stole them too. Like he's making sure that he's like you are not touching my ballista bro my ballista are protected you i you ain't gonna touch any of them and the siege has begun uh, there is lourdes lourdes only mission all he needs to do is prevent kenna from moving now the two ballistas will be taken down after the wall has been breached one more ballista is remaining on the field this ballista is exposed to will be also taken down Fireball will miss the target but it's also in the description of the fireball as you can see if the target is out of the range it will go on cooldown, but it will miss the target. Beautiful blast here with the Gandalf, level 7. Even though Isengard is doing a good job dodging Gandalf all the time, but Gandalf is undodgeable in some situations, as you could see. But he has level 3 Lumber Mills even around, you know? That's how rich he is, bro. Like, he has so many, like, level 2, level 3 Lumber Mills. This guy is, like, super, super, super rich. He will be able to find the Ballista one more time. Look at the Isengard's money, boys. He has 3.6k, but he's spamming Ballista. He has queued up 
14 ballistas in the thing each of them cost 600 so 14 times 6 is like 10,000 10,000 worth of ballistas are queued up his command points kept he can't even produce any more units anytime soon he has the money to upgrade every single piece of pikeman in the entire map with every upgrade from the banner to the for forge blades to the heavy armor Isengard's economy is unmatched in this situation and he doesn't even have to fuel the fires yet imagine he has fuel the fires you know it's gonna be a whole different situation okay he's summoning the great company uh, not great company the Rohirrim summon Gondor go calls for eat and Rohan will answer they are trying to destroy as many ballistas as possible two parts of the wall has been finally broken so Isengard is making sure that he can break multiple parts before he can make the final move to go inside the jeans three ballistas destroyed he has one and a half power points Gondor is resisting not giving up until the very end but the end might be near he's using some of the Rohirrim to go for a siege wars but they are level three now level three siege wars has six seven thousand hp which is a lot right it's very a lot so it's destroying it it's gonna take you a lot of time and the siege will continue and Ganav kind of has to make a move oh he, he was able to kill him but before this could happen he got crippled oh he's repairing the wall exposing his units and trying to kill the ballista before the ballista can destroy this but Saruman has been killed by Gandalf and the wall is gonna be breached again but by the time the wall is breached Saru is dead and Lourdes is dead that's high class gameplay you are watching here right now boys he's dodging the Gandalf pressing X splitting his up units doesn't give, give him a chance to blast them he's always paying attention to everything Gandalf is looking to blast he will get a beautiful blast regardless five power points in the bank that's a Gandalf show and a half boys if you know what to do with this white wizard he can hit like an absolute track and he is still heal available without Lourdes and or Saruman you can't really approach because in about five seconds he will be able to blast once again and he's getting so many power points playing with a single without a single farm outside microing out of his mind of course and he will get yet again a great blast off amazing performance by the Gandalf player but he stays exposed very well played and now he has six power points now he has the power points he needs remember a he was level three now that means his revive time is going to be longer it's going to be two minutes instead of one minute and 30 seconds okay oh boy oh boy and Saruman's revive time because he's level 5 is gonna be 2 minutes and 20 seconds so heroes are getting back to the field kind of fast because the game is fast you know everything is faster um, sometimes you are wondering when you never played on 2.22 it might feel like oh my god I just killed this guy he's coming back but everything is faster you know last and beautiful level 9 Gandalf the white ladies and gentlemen ballista party he is only eight and a half power points away from his EOD and Isengard still needs 11 but remember we have equal advantage like crazy bro like with 600 for Gondor and 15,000 for Isengard 15,000 like he has the chance to make whole army lose it and make it again that's how rich he is okay he has the whole map obviously and never mind he needs more than 11 power points what am i saying even he doesn't even have rain yet nor does he have the fuel the fires like he needs to invest six power points or seven power points for that then he needs to collect in total 20 more so gondor is way way ahead in the power point department because isengard doesn't really kill anything right he's all he's doing is losing stuff eagle summon available um I mean, I believe the power points Isengard was getting so far was from losing heroes like Lourdes and Saruman over and over again. All he did maybe killed what? Two, three Knights of Gondors all game long, right? He never killed Gandalf, I believe. He killed soldiers a bit, but that's all about it. And also he killed, of course, Pippin, you know? Okay, sneaking through. Remember, he's holding on it. Beautiful fireball here from the young wizard Saruman. The... the destruction of the statue is giving you also lots of power points he went for the freezing ring because he doesn't really need to fuel the fire's money let's be real here and there comes the rohirrim summon rohirrim summon's goal is to destroy the ballista 
Gondor is holding. He's gonna use the Eagle Special Summon to kill the Lords. Lords, one more hit will be needed. He's trying to get into the Gandalf, but he won't be able to get into the Gandalf. There comes the Easter Light to one shot. Eagle hit in one shot from the Easter E and almost level 10 Gandalf boys. And there comes the legendary blast. Boom! War of power unlocked for the White Wizard! You shall not pass. Son. And he's holding himself, holding himself with one farm outside. This is the last stand of the wizard. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Unbelievable performance. And the eagle will be taking down eight power points now after the freezing rain. The, you know, the, this is going to feed him lots of power points too. Remember, the ballista or any siege weapon you destroy really is going to feed you lots of power points. So be careful. You need to protect your ballista. Um, the only good thing for Aizen is he has still undisputed champ he's still undisputed champion in the in the map control fight. And Gondor has to do something about this. And here's a Gandalf for this dude. War of Power has 4 minutes 30 seconds cooldown. But you can see everything is so much faster in this game, right? I mean obviously it's a replay too, and the replays feel obviously much faster than the game itself, because in the game you have some sort of delays, lags, um replay. I wish the game would be like this. Replay is always looking like it's a modern game from 2024. <laughs> you will be able to destroy the siege works from Isengard. No problemo. Uh, but he has only level 1 Knights of Gondor. It's a very tanky structure, like every production building level 3 is. And he lost a lot of pikemen here. A lot of horses here. And Isengard finally getting some power points in, uh, in return. He will also lose this Knight of Gondor. Lords will be revived in the main castle so he got a run all the way up there and he's sending some pikemen now inside the castle knowing the castle is exposed and i don't need to wait pressure him as much as you potentially can use your eco advantage you just gotta out spam your opponent and gaining power points as you can see and tell from losing stuff that's the power of isengard that's what you can do with eisen in the lead game when you find yourself in a situation like this in which you can't really win a fight when Gandalf is around anymore. He's level 10, he can water power you, he can blast you, you can easter your heroes or lightning swap your heroes. You need to just spam to Balrog. It's a strategy, by the way. Just queue up pikemen from the, from the Uruk pit. He has two Uruk pits. You can just queue up pikemen and just send them in all the time. Kill some stuff, lose them. Kill some stuff, lose them. But you have, you have to sustain your eco. It means you can afford to do this. And at some point, he needs to use AOD to defend. And then at some point, he needs to use War of Power to defend. And then you lose stuff, enough stuff to be able to summon the Balrog, okay? So Lourdes looking for a chance to cripple the one and only. War of Power is available in a minute, but he's going to summon the EUD for now. The Barista will be destroyed. And the worst part is Gondor is going to get even more of power points. couldn't even blast level 4 from level 1 um aod still keeps going but lords is getting away aod is not much remaining anymore on the field you need to kill this lords remember the easter light is on cooldown lords is a very important kill here uh, but remember he has still the cripple and aod is gone however he has the chance to go for a great company or something the outpost is still around and that's a very tricky outpost if condor can actually take the outpost control at the top side of the map he has low-key a chance of winning this. Even though it looks like he's defending non-stop, but defending all alone can't win you the game. He has no money. He has no money to make a huge army, which you need to destroy all of these structures. Every single one of these structures. Level 3 now. Very beefy structures. Exposed. Boom. We ride out for Gondor. We ride out for Gondor. Level 3, level 3. Holy moly. <laughs> Everywhere, level 3. Okay. Okay, he's even soldiers with the heavy armor. He knows that his opponent has no walk riders yet, but he's gonna demolish the building and go for the warp anyway, I believe. Does he have no money? He has money, of course, but he has no command points. That's the problem he has. Gandalf got crippled. Does he have heal from the spell book? Yeah, he, he does have spell book heal. The siege works, siege weapons don't hurt him that much. I mean, those siege weapons don't, don't hurt him that much. It will, but still, of course, you know, chunk him. You shall not pass. 
and yeah he has basically two out of powers but that's what i'm talking about you see he's forced to do all of this defensively right and um gondor can't get any momentum out of that he can win the fight through right but then he has no follow-up because he has no sustain in the eco right he has not a huge army he needs like four or five knights of gondor he needs soldiers here to be able to destroy this outpost until this is going to happen Isengard can keep losing stuff and at some point that's the design oh of the evil God, factions that. in this game at some point he will lose enough to summon the almighty Balrog of Morgoth okay I mean Gondor is playing out of his mind he has no marketplace he has still level 3 blacksmiths here and farms they are keeping him alive each one of them is giving you 25 so late game resources is always looking good especially for a faction like gondor with like nine spots inside the castle while rohan for example is seven this outpost is way easier to be destroyed as you can see and tell way easier to be destroyed also level three structures all over the place everything is level three here inside the war pit oh keep those new uruks under control Eagle Summon will be available, will be summoned. There is only one combo or one and a half combos it can shoot. They don't deal too much damage. They do actually. They do they deal decent amount of damage to the Eagles. Yeah, they actually do. Eagles are very weak against fire, but it's their only weakness. This guy can fireball him, no problem. But that is Gandalf. He's gonna just hit the ones, he's study. This Gandalf is on rampage, boys. But the beast is breached. Now, after Saruman got killed, this guy has been special summoned, okay? And he's gonna fly in boys will we see an epic clash between balrog and gandalf he's going to really do this i mean if gandalf was ever going to die in this game i'm happy that it happened this way okay epic clash gg well played i hope you enjoyed this epic game if you did you know what to do leave a like to this video subscribe for more videos like this in the future and hopefully you will give it a shot to join the pfme online arena as well like i said at the beginning of the video click on the description download the patch 2.22 which includes a launcher which gives you the chance to download the game patch it and even play it online see you next time until then take care of yourself keep eating like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys